Lance Armstrong pulled the ultimate betrayal in the biggest con in sports history that I know of. That I know. I mean, he beat Pete Rose out and he was just gambling. <laughs> There's a guy that we all know by mission who had the greatest empires of Nike and all the brands food, right? Right? Yes. Here's B Hop, Bernard Hopkins, the executioner, with a story behind himself. No, oh, no means I ain't perfect, but in this game of boxing, the way I live, I am super perfect. Super perfect when it comes to taking care of this body and taking care of myself. I wouldn't be here this long, y'all. You think I'm that good? I'm not that talented that way. Roy Jones was talented and, and 10 times more than me. Most of the fighters in my era including the James Tony, them guys was more talented than me all around the board, and I'm not just being dis uh, a, a line shot about my talent. But something that I understood from day one, you keep your body clean, your mind clean, and you don't get caught up in this bullshit that goes on with success, you will be all right. And I live by them codes, man. And that's why it's hard for these young fighters to beat a Bernard Hopkins here and even the physical because I took care of my temple. They on the floor after the fight tonight, most of them, at a club somewhere. I'm in a hot tub or in a bathtub, no matter how many rounds the fight went, in my suite. That's the difference between longevity of resting, taking care of your body. Because even though you knocked that guy out in the first round, what about the nine weeks of trauma of training and sparring, hundreds of rounds? What about that rest? Oh, I didn't think of that, Bernard. I didn't think about the sparring part. I just thought about me fighting when I get in the ring. And as long as I'm okay, I'm okay. No, nah, man, you, you went through nine weeks of training with different guys banging on you. You go on 10 rounds and eight rounds, and you're doing this at least three days a week. No, three, yeah, three days a week, normally people spar. I train my mind Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. What about that trauma year after year after year after year after year after year after year? Nobody never told them because boxing now is 99% trainers and 1% or less teachers.